Madam Speaker, children under 18 in British Columbia can now be prescribed fentanyl. It's reported parents don't even need to be told or agree. Toxic drug overdose is now the leading cause of death for youth in British Columbia. It's also reported addiction experts have criticized protocols citing they are deeply inadequate and do not provide a minimum age for when youth can receive recreational fentanyl. Will this NDP Liberal government put an end to their dangerous drug policy experiments? Conservatives are trying to spread fear and confusion. Here are the facts. No kids have been prescribed fentanyl in BC. Under the guidelines, there are additional precautions in place when it comes to prescribing the to minors. The most important relationship in managing one's health is with the health care provider. Arm reduction is health care. We are working to save lives. Yesterday was absolutely shocking when first BC's top doctor said so-called safe supply is landing into street-level trafficking and ending up in the hands of children. Then the Liberal minister responsible for safe supply came to committee and doubled down on the Liberal NDP unwavering commitment to their deadly drug policy experiments. It's absolutely unbelievable. The government's addictive drugs end up in our kids' hands and the government endorses it. Will the NDP Liberal government end their deadly drug policy experiment and get the drugs out of our kids' hands? Prescribed safe supply is a valued intervention and a necessary life-saving intervention. It helps connect to social supports and it is part of the continuum of care. We take the safety of all Canadians seriously and will continue to approach the toxic drugs and overdose crisis from both a public health and public safety perspective.